Hello everyone, my name is Janae. Welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Today's video I'm going to show you the new color lineup in the Crystal Rhinestone Collection in my Etsy store. I'm really excited to show you this. And I'm also going to be going over some answers to some questions in regards to the crystals that I do sell. But before we get started, I wanted to apologize to all of you. I just recently found out that there is a few videos that I have posted and unfortunately I am not getting notifications of comments so I am so sorry if I don't answer them very quickly. I am going to start making it a habit to check those comments in a different way because I just am not getting those notifications so I do apologize for that. So by saying that, also I wanted to thank everyone for stopping by at my Etsy store. Thank you so much for your support. It is so greatly appreciated. So by saying that, let's jump into this video because I'm really excited to show you all these new colors. So the first three colors that you see here are in the opal family. The white opals really went well and I thought I'm going to bring in the colored opals as well and see if you guys all like those. So we have blue opal, pink opal, and green opal. So let's take a look at the green opal. It's a very pretty color. It reminds me of a light jade. Very, very pretty. And lots and lots of shine. Okay, so that is the green opal. And then we have the pink opal here. It's pretty. Gotta love those opals. They are so pretty. So again, this is the pink opal. And then we have the blue opal. I love this one. This is so pretty. It is a powder blue and lots of shine and shimmer. All right, everyone, this is the five new colors in the coated rhinestone group. And the first rhinestone I'm going to show you is called Stormy Skies. And that is this one here. Now, when you look at this drill, it looks like a clear drill. But you can also see some mint color in there. And then when you slightly turn it just a little bit, you can see some purple in that. That's what makes this a coated drill. And I'm going to go more into depth in just a minute. Again, when you look at it straight on, it looks like a clear rhinestone. But you can see some mint green in there. And then just slightly turn it a little bit and you're going to see some violet and purple. So again, this one is called Stormy Sky. Very pretty. The next drill I'm going to show you is called Amber. And this one is really pretty too. Now this has gold in it, it has rose in it, it's a very, very pretty color. Lots of sparkle. And again, this one is called Amber. So the next three rhinestones I'm going to show you are all metallic. The first one is called Labrador. And this one here, guys, you're going to need a pair of sunglasses. These rhinestones are very bright. They remind me of Christmas tinsel. That's how bright they are. It's a very beautiful drill, and it has that metallic coating on them. Very, very pretty. So again, this one is called Labrador. The next rhinestone I'm going to show you is called Rose Metallic. This one is also very pretty. Lots of sparkle. Beautiful, beautiful color. Again, this one is called Rose Metallic. 
And last is called Gold Metallic. Also a very pretty color. Lots of sparkle. Again, this is called Gold Metallic. So let me explain to all of you what the difference is between the coated rhinestone and the AB rhinestone. The difference is this. An AB rhinestone is a rhinestone with one primary color with an AB iridescent coating on top of it. A coated rhinestone is a rhinestone that is either a metallic color or it is a rhinestone with a various of colors. So the best way that I can show you a coated rhinestone is with one of the volcanoes because the volcanoes really show those colors. So I brought out red volcano Pour some out here. So Red Volcano is a rhinestone that has two primary colors. So let's just give it a shake. Bring it up there. So when you look at those colors, you see a dark red, an orange, and a yellow. That's how they classify this as a coated drill because it has two primary colors which is red and gold and then you can also see some orange in there as well. So that would be classified as a coated drill. The other coated drill like I said is the metallics. Okay so again if you're wondering what is the difference between the two groups is the metallics and a rhinestone that has more than one primary color is classified as a coated rhinestone. Okay, so I'm going to set up for the next group. I'll be right back. Alright everyone, I'm back and the three colors that you see here are new colors in the AB group. So the first one I'm going to show you is called Olivine and it is a beautiful olive color but with that AB coating on there it's going to have a little bit of blue possibly a violet but you can definitely see that olive green. So again this one is called Olivine very, very pretty. So the next color I'm going to show you is called Clear AB and it is beautiful. Lots and lots and lots of sparkle for this one. So this one is called Aurora Borealis or a Clear AB. It's a beautiful rhinestone. And the next color I'm going to show you is called Tanzanite. This is a really beautiful drill. If you like your purples, this is one for you. The Tanzanite is a rich dark purple and with that AB coating on there, it really, really makes it stand out. It's just beautiful. So again, this is called Tanzanite. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera again and get set up for the next group, and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and here are the last colors in the lineup, and these are the crystal rhinestones. These are really, really pretty. So we're going to show you these three first, because then I'm going to show you the AB counterparts for these two. The first one I'm going to show you is called Light Peach and it's very pretty. Oops, I'm sorry, moving out of 
frame there. So again, everyone, this one is called Light Peach. There we go. The next color I'm going to show you is called Purple. As strange as it may be, it is called Purple. And it's this one here. Now to me, this looks gold. And why this isn't classified as a coated rhinestone, I'm not really sure. But when you look at it head on, it looks gold. Okay. But then when you change and move it around, you can see some green there. But you can also see right here that purple. So it just depends on how you look at this drill. Definitely has a lot of different colors to it. So I'm very confused on why this one isn't classified as a coated drill. There you can see the purple now. So again, this is called purple. And this one is called light amber. It's a very, very pretty color. And look at that sparkle. Wow. That is pretty. So again, this one is called light amber. Okay, so that leaves me with these two colors. And like I said, I wanted to be able to show you the counterpart or their AB partner. So this one here, I'm pretty sure you guys probably know what this one is. This is tanzanite. And as I said, it's a really rich dark purple. And then here is the AB tanzanite. Okay. And then this one is olivine. See that beautiful olive green color? Very, very pretty. And then I got to get a tray, sorry. So let's put this one away since we've already looked at it. Where's, oh, there it is. So again, this is Olivine, and here is the AB counterpart. Really, really pretty. All right, so I have one more group to show you, and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. And as you can see, I've got three other colors here. And these three colors are called glows. So pretty self-explanatory. They do glow in the dark. And the supplier that I go through, they had at least, I think there was like six or seven different colors to choose from. These were the three that I felt really stood out and glowed. And... Um, I wanted to bring them into the Etsy store, especially now with Halloween coming around the corner. These are magnificent. I have tried them out, and because it is still light out, I'm not gonna be able to do it on film, but what I'll do is once it gets dark and I can take a really good picture of them, I will have them, I will have the picture inserted so that you can see how they look when they glow. They're beautiful. So we have three colors. We've got rose, We've got green, and then we have the white. Now, out of the three, the rose glows the least. It is not as powerful as these two, but it does glow a lot better than the others that they had. So that's why I picked the rose. It's a very pretty color, and it would stand out. Even if it didn't glow, it would stand out and make any project look really nice. But believe me, it does glow. The green is the second choice. It is as it is more powerful than the rose, but not as powerful 
as the whites. The whites are the ones that really have a lot of glow to them, but the greens are not that far behind them. It's a very beautiful color. And as I said, it very, very nice when they glow. And then you've got your whites. And as I said, the white out of all three of them is just simply brilliant. It is so, so strong and it glows really nice. So as I said, I will be taking pictures of them tonight so that you can see how they look without the light. So again, those are the glows. So now what I'm going to do is take this time and answer two more questions that were brought to me. The first question was, what size are these? These are what we call an SS10. They are the size of our round resin drills and like all of our drills, some of them are going to be a little bit bigger and some of them might be a little bit smaller. I'm finding that I don't really see a lot of difference in the size of these drills. In fact, I go through every single bag to make sure that the quality is what I expect it to be and I've not had any issues. I've had very, very minimal garbage. In fact, this is my third shipment, I believe. No, sorry, this is my second shipment. My third shipment's coming in. And out of over 500 bags of rhinestones, I've probably picked out 10 that were questionable. And I mean, they were just questionable. I wouldn't say they were horribly bad, but it would be something that I wouldn't want to send out to you. So I'm very impressed with the quality of these drills. And as I said, these are SS10s. Now, my next shipment should be coming in in two weeks, and I'm really excited about that because I do have some colors that are coming in in the regular crystal rhinestone as an SS8, which is the size that we need for our square drills. So I'm really excited about that. And I believe I have ordered a few of the coated drills as well in the SS8. So again, really excited about those. So the last question was, are these Zawoski crystals? As much as I would love to say yes, they're not. So we all know that the Zawoski crystal is a top high quality crystal glass. And in order for me to be able to bring them into the Epsi store, I would literally have to charge more and send out less. And I really didn't want to do that. So these crystal rhinestones are called K9 or also known as K9 crystals. The K is in reference to the German word crown and the nine is in reference to the lead content in the glass. So to make a crystal or to classify it as a crystal in the United States, it has to have at least 1% lead content to be classified as a crystal in the United States. In Europe, it has to have at least 4% to be classified as a crystal. Now, the higher the lead content in the glass, the better the quality of that crystal rhinestone. So this, again, is called a K9, so it has 9% lead content in the glass. Now, the lead content, not only does it give that superior shine and shimmer, but it also helps with the durability and strength of that stone as well. The K9s also have a very high reflective index and the exceptional clarity with combination of low cost makes these crystals extremely desirable. The K9s are produced in large quantity in China, which sells for a price far below high quality, well-known glass manufacturers such as the Zawoski crystal. The K9s are also known for representing or looking exactly like the Zawoski crystals. And that's why I really like them because they do look really 
nice. Now, if you look up the difference between all the crystals or all the rhinestones out there, this particular rhinestone is a high quality glass rhinestone. So I'm really very happy to be able to bring them to you. Now again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I promise you, I will get those questions answered as quickly as I can possibly answer them. So everyone, by saying that, that is the new color lineup in my Epsi store. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you really like these colors because I think they're fabulous. Anyway, by saying that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving me that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or just stopping by, howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. The bell is going to let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, by saying that, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it's afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae. Thank you for spending some time with me today on the review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.